Welcome back to another uh, review slash overview mainly and today I have a new product it's a NAS uh, device network attached storage basically it means that you can use any 2.5 inch hard drive and use it to share data across the network and it's an open source solution kit I'm going to show you composed of the case uh, small board, development board, and also a main board with a SATA interface, this one. So I'll start with the case. This kit comes with a case made from aluminum material. It has a back cover for all the interfaces. And I'll show you the back. You can see aluminum, very high quality. So this is the envelope slash case for the new station so it's the part it's the part of the kit the case second uh, item I'm going to show you also included is an external power supply unit this device uses a, tw a 12 volts 2 amps power supply unit external unit and you have an extension cable also so that's for the power and now for the interesting stuff you have a one bay NAS dock 1.2 in a board this board basically is the main board where you have all the interfaces so it's compatible with the Neo our Neo 2 versions development boards and I'll show you in a second how the new version 2 looks like pretty nice as you can see right now uh, it has an Ethernet LAN one USB port header pins here and here so in the back you also have a nice heat sink also from aluminium and a thermal pad between the CPU, you can see here in blue color between the CPU and the heatsink. So you need to buy this board to make it work. And basically it costs about $16. That's the price of the new 2 NanoPi. And it doesn't have a, a onboard uh, storage meaning it doesn't have an EMMC storage uh, but you load the operating system through the micro SD card right here so that's the new version 2 so you must buy it to make this work okay let's go to the main board as you can see right now I'll do a quick zoom in to show you. Okay, this is the interface, of course. This is a SATA version 2 interface. For any 2.5 inch hard drive, you can use a SSD drive also. Also, you have additional interfaces I2C interface, and also. Uh, the other pins ear and ear for the Neo board so you need to connect it to the main board also I'll, I'll show you the back side this is the power DC 12 volts power supply unit 2 amps power on off switch 1 USB and this is the power power light indicator also so that's for the board so first thing you need to make sure you have all the other pins in this board soldered to the main PCB if not you can ask a friendly arm to do it for you before they ship the, the item so it's very needed so how do you connect it to the main board? You just use the other pins here. 
you can see here it fits really easy and that's it basically you're gaining an additional USB port before you I had only one now I have two two pairs so I have two USB version 2 interfaces as for the hard drive you need to buy one for example this one from King Spec this is a 120 GB SATA version 3 but the interface is version 2 here I'm just sliding it here on the main board and there you have it that's the complete uh, assembly of this board so very cool so I recommend buying SSD drive of course it's the best and also on the back side of the board you have an option for RTC battery backup battery so also very cool so you basically have an all-in-one solution here development board or single board computer SSD drive solution and of course the software is loaded through the micro SD card like I said and the software is open a media vault based meaning it's a Debian a customized a distribution for managing a NAS server so that's it so how do you put this board inside the case you just slide it here inside this way and you just put the back cover in very simple of course I have four screws here and that's it so you're getting two USB additional USB so basically you have two USB uh, ports here you connect it to a LAN and basically you can use Kodi uh, or Windows to share uh, multimedia files across the network this specific board doesn't have Wi-Fi the new the new version 2 and but the LAN is a nice solution so here you have a cheap solution if you buy the new version 2 and the one bay NAS dock solution with the case the price is 29 US dollars for all the kit all the items so that's the price almost 30 dollars so very cool nice nice device so you can use it like I said with Cody should work really cool and I also add a link for the product in the video description field and I hope you enjoy it thanks for watching and bye